What's going on, crew? How's everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome. I'm gonna let everybody get in here. Got a little project I need to finish up tonight, so I figured I would cut some stuff while you guys are here. What's up, Maddie? What's up, Deborah? What's up, Corey? How are you? How are you? Rosemary, what's going on? What's going on? Kelly, how you doing? Sixto, what's going on? AR, Joe, how are you? Patty, what's up? Just to give you guys a little heads up, just to give you a little heads up, it is 10 o'clock, and in two hours, in two hours, it's Maddie's birthday, and she's on here. Maddie, you should be asleep. Just did your flag rhinestone. Sweet, Deborah. Currently in Apple getting a new iPhone. <laughs> Just finished 16 shock soccer shirts. Sweet. It's 10 o'clock here. It might be 9 or 8 o'clock your time, but it's 10 o'clock here. What's up, everybody? What's up, Joe? What's up, Tim? What's up, Kyle? What's up, Pam? What's up, Kelly? What's up, Sandy? So, got a little thing I need to do. Little thing I need to do. I need to cut out some names for a little project that some of the different moms on Jackson's team is doing. So I figured I would cut them with you guys real quick. And then if you have any questions as far as the graph tech. So, you guys let me know what you like better. Do you like vertical names or horizontal names better? And what they're putting them on, they're making like some little wood baseball bats. And they're going to put the little team logo, they're going to put their number, and they're going to put their name on them for the tournament. I personally like the way the horizontal looks better. I'm not a huge fan of the way, at least with the collegiate text like this, that vertical looks. But they want it to kind of go down the baseball bat. So, I don't know, but I'm a big fan of horizontal. Some vertical ones look good, like the Cabral looks good here. What I don't like is like the Willis with the big W. And some of them where it gets like a real wide letter, like a W, and then a bunch of I's like that. That's where I think it looks kind of weird. But we are going to cut some up here. And I'm going to cut the horizontal first. I'm not sure exactly how much material I have. But let's bring this bad boy over here. Show you what's going on. So with my graph tech, I got our 15-inch graph tech here. I got, you, can, you can resize the letters, but it looks weird when you resize the letters. Because if you like sque squeeze the W way in... Then, then it looks way skinnier than the I-L-L-I-S. So, and they are all centered. They are, the software, the wizard centers them all for you automatically. So they're all perfectly centered. It's just, it looks weird when you have a wide W next to a thin I. That's where the vertical always looks weird. So, as you can see here, got my material. What I want to make sure I do is with the width of my material here, when I'm gonna cut more than one of these names at a time, right? I just wanna make sure that it's gonna feed correctly, okay? So, to make sure it feeds correctly, make sure my material's good, I'm just gonna hit fast, I'm gonna feed this down, and I can see, okay, I'm probably close to two feet, and my pen rollers are still pretty good. So I'm gonna feed it back, and then know I'm pretty good to go. Now, I also, just to let you know, I have my expand feature on, okay? And I'll bring you guys over here and show you what that means. So if I come over here to my menu, and I go to three for area and expand, I have my expand feature on, which is bringing the blade, and you can see, all the way to the edge of my material with my pinch roller. So I'm actually going to, I don't need to expand it that much, 
So I'm gonna only expand it maybe 0 0.08 inches and you'll see how it moves here when I hit enter. And menu. And see how it just moved over a little bit. So I didn't need, I didn't want to expand it too close to the edge, but I've shown this in a video recently. Any of you guys that want to expand your actual cut area on your graph tech, you can expand it into the pinch roller there. All right, so let's move back here. And let's get this bad boy cut. And hold on one second. I have... To spin this around it looks like there we go that should be good so for my cuts I got it all set I'm gonna set my origin there and I'm not gonna cut a ton of them I'm not gonna cut a ton of them off the start I'm gonna maybe cut let's say four or five of them so in the software here I'm just gonna highlight four of them I'm going to go to templates and I'm going to do my vinyl overcut. And I don't need my weed box on it. I know you can't see my screen right now, but that's okay. So when I launch this and I'm going to send it to Cutting Master 4, which is the cut software for the GraphTech cutter here, obviously. And I want to, I'm going to cut it at a force of around 10. Okay. Don't need a lot of downforce when you're using the thinner. Uh, FTC sign vinyl. And let's go ahead and hit send. Get this going. And by the way, how sweet is my stand? Amazon box, baby. What font was used on the water bottles? That was our circle monogram font. I know I could you know what a table couldn't have fit here Eddie like this whole condo right here is just full of boxes we aren't even unpacking we're just basically living out of boxes for like three months the cutter I'm using here Josh is the 15 inch graph tech CE 6040 which is the smaller desktop version of the CE 6060 Yes, we do leave plenty of them at the shows. Yes, I agree, we do. The same one Matt's using now. You have the 15 inch, Daniel? Sweet cutter. Uh, the 15 inch is around, I wanna say 1250. And the 24 inch is 1795. The only difference in it, it's the exact same motor, exact same everything, exact same display. The only difference is it's basically cut off. It's 15 inches instead of 24 inches. So the inner workings, all of the computer, the, the board, everything is sort of the motor, everything is the exact same as the 24 inch. Yes, but looking for tricks to hold the roll of vinyl while you cut. So what are you having an issue with, Daniel? Is your vinyl popping off? Let me know. See if I have a pair of scissors here. Yes, I would agree. Save up for the 24 inch. However, however, if you are using it for shows or events, I would much rather have the 15 inch than the 24 inch. So it really depends, really depends on what you're using it for. 24 inch comes with a stand, yes. So, when weeding this now, all right, give me a second. See if I can point this down a little bit. Yeah, you can see it pretty good there. Move my computer screen over a little bit. So when I'm weeding this material, and this is just the FTC sign vinyl, I'm just going to, the biggest thing with sign vinyl is just making sure you get it all ripped up into your hand 
and kind of pull it into your hand as you're going. Because if any of it gets back down on the letter, you're done. But that's weeded. And now it's just a matter of grabbing my inside cavities. And I like to just keep even the inside cavities, just keep it in my hand here. And then as I pull it up, it kind of sticks to the other ones. And then once you get that, then it makes it a whole lot easier to, to do everything as far as the weeding side of it. Good there. Let's pull this here. So those of you know who know and know and have done the sign vinyl a lot, if, if it comes down and sticks to itself, good luck. Like literally it's better off just recutting it and reweeding it because you're gonna spend 20 minutes trying to put a letter back on and change this and where it rips and whatnot. So what I should have done is sent that back to my home position, right? And make sure it's all good, it's all lined up, right? Just got my origin set again and I should have started my other cut Right? Should have started my other cut while I was weeding that. Which I didn't do. Bad of me. So we had Barry Vassallo Henderson Sprague. So let's do these names here. I'm going to try all of these. So I have, I'm going to cut about 13 inches worth of material. Um, I'm not using a roll. I just have a long, like a three foot, three foot long sheet back behind it. How do you compete with shirts that they do with the cricket, Josh? Just make yours unique and don't just do shirts. Do other things. Do things like water bottles. Do rhinestones. I mean... People have a cricket, they're gonna make stuff with the cricket. You can produce a lot more. Do larger orders instead of onesie twosies. So there's always going to be cricket users and cameo users out there, right? Now it's just a matter of getting your business different enough to where it's going to get that customer base and making sure that you're obviously making money and not trying to sell it what someone's selling a shirt for 12 bucks or 15 bucks for it, right? All right, so got this one ready. Let's go launch, cut plot CM4. Got it to my cutter. I'm again cutting at a force of 10 and I'm gonna hit send. I'm gonna come up here so I can see you guys. And I'm just checking my cut. It's all good, it went to the bottom there, so. We're looking pretty. We're looking pretty. What's up, Vanessa? How are you? What's up, Big Jim? How are you? What's up, Scoob? How are you? How are you? Good night, Pilar. Good night, Pilar. It's like, isn't it like 8 o'clock there? Where would you be going night? By the way, John, are you here? We got 66 here and we have 32 likes. What's going on with that? What's up, Grant? How you doing, How you buddy? I am not using the weed boxes because I'm basically cutting it pretty much edge to edge anyway. Oh, she's at, she's at the store getting a new phone. Oh, so she's going to have to turn it off and everything. Gotcha. Yeah, so again, if everybody's doing shirts, for that inexpensive, do things that are different. Here's here's one example. You know what you know what is very difficult for someone with a cricket or a cameo to do? It's very difficult for them to do something that some of you who have a 24 inch cutter can do and doing the larger um, door signs or car window decals or bigger things like that, even banners. I used to do banners all the time just with the sign vinyl as well. So offering all of those different things as well, okay? And the crickets and the cameos, it's gonna be a lot more difficult for a cricket and a cameo to do an order of 20 shirts or 30 shirts or completely customized. 
So don't get frustrated by it. Just make sure you're different. You get out there and you, you get that customer base. That's the thing. Good to go with that. Let's go ahead and trim this off. And I can see my edge. I'm about uh, probably four feet into this job now. I can see my edge is starting to run out there. So now I need, I know that I need to, I need to readjust this, okay? I can guarantee you if they're selling shirts for six bucks, they are not going to be around long, okay? They're not going to be around long. The reason I always got customers is I stuck with my pricing, okay? I provide a great customer service and an awesome freaking product. trying to think of the vertical names here what I'm going to be able to do with them so I have exactly about 23 inches left and my vertical names in Corel draw are this isn't going to be good 22.2 inches this is going to be a tough one. All right, let me turn right, turn you guys around here for a minute while I'm working on this. I am making just some decals for some decals for one. Some of the parents in Lorene are going to make some little kind of wood baseball bat kind of sign things for the kids for the Memorial Day tournament this weekend. So I told them I would make some decals for them with their names because they want to put them on the little bats that they're making. But now what I need to do is find out how to arrange this just right to maximize this material. Because when I get to the end, remember, even though I have about 22 and a half inches there and it only measures 22 something to do, my problem is, is I still need area for the pen controllers because the blade's in front of that. And I'm gonna be like I was that one night, just hoping that it gets all the material, right? So what I'm gonna do obviously is not cut all of it at the same time, just in case it happens. And then I might be able to figure out some scraps if I have any scraps here. Eddie Green, I mostly use USPS Priority. I ship international orders and old 24 inch. Got it. By the way, can someone give me a Cubs update? Edwards Jr. is blowing it again. I use Simon because of the wood bat, yes. So I got this. I knocked it down to about 20 inches, which. I may be able, I may be able to get away with. Um, it's hard to see my screen. I don't know really how I can do it because I'm gonna have to hold it with one hand. I'm, I'm, I'm basically done with it though. So this is, this is what we got there with the vertical. And then I'm gonna do no weed box or anything because I need to maximize that, that length and the width. So I can't waste any of that for a weed box. And maybe I wonder if I make them just a little bit smaller. Maybe we'll only go, there we go, we're at 19.2 inches. I think this might be our money. All right, so I'm gonna highlight it all. I'm gonna rotate them 90 degrees. Just sort of going kind of vertical on the actual machine. And then I'm gonna go templates. I'm gonna do a vinyl overcut. And I'm gonna get rid of my weed box and let's load this material in. All right, that was 
good there. One for front edge. Let me bring you guys back over to the cutter here. I'm gonna feed it all the way down. Looks good. Feed it back. Looks good. Set my origin. I'm about a quarter inch, quarter inch off the top. So when I bring this into Cutting Master 4, I just need to make sure it's going to fit. So I'm gonna do my pool size real quick and I have 11.3 inches wide, which is perfect, I'm good with that. The part I'm worried about is the length of it and that's where we're gonna get really close, okay? But you know what? Let's see what happens. Send. Here we go. I did not turn off the sensors, no, Eddie. Be and the reason why I didn't is because with the graph tech, you can override the sensors when it gets to that point. Um, this water bottle, Tracy, and like I said, this is the um, monogram, the universal monogram font that I used on that one. And then while this is cutting, I guess we can go ahead and start weeding this, right? So. Let's get you a little view here. Let's get to weeding. So what I don't want to do, I'm probably being pretty stupid doing what I'm doing right now because I don't have any extra material that I can really waste. So I probably should not be weeding this like this just in case I messed anything up. But. I have faith that I've weeded enough vinyl in my life that I'm feeling pretty confident I'm not going to lose any of these letters. Good there. Good here. There. There. And all of those are good. When you have big letters like this, and especially with the wizard and the vinyl overcut feature, it makes it super, super simple. Honestly, the only way I could have messed up any of this stuff is when I was trying to weed all of those, had any of it got back down and kind of touched itself, then it would have started pulling up letters. But I knew on the weeding side of it, it was gonna be no issue at all. That was gonna be simple, which it was. Now what I can do probably at this time, is I can probably, and I don't have, you know what's amazing? I don't have one of our amazing new squeegees at the condo here. I really need to bring a few of those home. So I got my 12 inch clear vinyl. The vinyl overcut grant, what that does is when it's cutting a letter, let me just give you an example. When it's cutting this O right here, it'll start here and it goes around and it cuts the O. A normal cutter is gonna stop where it started. The vinyl overcut, what that actually does is it starts here, it goes around, it does the cut, and then without the blade lifting, it starts to cut another quarter inch. So it finishes through every single cut and that's why everything weeds so easy when I do it. It's actually our software's tricking your cutter into doing it. So you guys know how I put down my application tape. I always just turn it kind of upside down like this. Make sure I have plenty. I'm working. Man, you know what this feels like? Honestly, guys, this feels exactly like about nine, ten years ago when I was doing this. Like, this was the amount of table space I had. <clears throat> I had my heat press on the dining room table next to a box of Dunkin' Donuts. And I'm serious, next to a box of Dunkin' Donuts. 
next to a bunch of other boxes because we can't even haven't even moved anything yet. This is like old school right here. All right. With my app tape, I'm going to hold it kind of like a U. Go ahead and drop it down. And now I need something to use for my squeegee. I don't have a credit card around anywhere. So, I'm going to find something around here. Those of you who bought the Corel Draw book, it is also a squeegee. And it's a big squeegee. Who said this wasn't for multiple purposes? Good to go. scissors are. Either. I really need to bring some better supplies. I really need to bring some better supplies home than this stuff because these scissors are pretty bad too. I don't even know. They're like little kid scissors. Good to go there. Let's trim this bad boy here. If only I know, it's amazing, if only I had a place to get like a squeegee or app tape or scissors or more vinyl. I'll tell you what I really miss. I miss my old office in the old house where I just had unlimited vinyl hanging up there. That was so nice. In my next office, I'll have it again. All right. I need to get some more app tape here. That looks good there. Trim that bad boy off. The book, yes, Eddie, the book is the X6 guidebook so it is for x6 but that doesn't mean that it's only covering so technically yes it's covering x6 but all of the tools in x6 95 percent of the tools are the same so it's on the site it's only ten dollars but what's pretty awesome, how many, of you, how many of you guys have gotten your guidebook already? Have you guys looked through it? Isn't it some pretty freaking awesome information in it for learning Corel Draw? Still 2-1 bad guys. Who's coming up, Kelly? It's a pretty awesome book, isn't it? It's got some awesome information. Ooh, I just found another pair of scissors, a little bit bigger. So we only, we do only have a limited amount of those books. And the good thing is, is I have not listed them on the website yet as far as really promoting them. So we do, do I know for a fact we do still have some available. But it's pretty, it's pretty freaking cool just to, I mean, your table of contents there, it goes over all of your different tools in Corel and explains every single one of the tools. But one of the things I do like about it is it almost has like little lessons in it and it talks about your fonts and your templates and all the different things. I mean, it's huge. It's 300 something pages, 310 pages. Okay, it's pretty awesome. It's on the site and it's only $10. We used to sell these things for
Bryant, Rizzo, and Contreras. I like our chances, Kelly. Horizontal version is done. Yes, the book has a built-in squeegee edge. <laughs> so, Young, Willis, Zahn, Message, Hyman, Smith, Sprague. Oh, no. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I forgot somebody. Oh, crap. Because I did Willis twice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And I don't have any vinyl. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Who did I forget? All right, I got Willis. Damn it. Uh-oh. Willis. Barry. Vassalo, Henderson, Sprague, Smith, Hyman, Zahn, Message, Young, Shoot! Cabral. I forgot Cabral. Damn it. Don't know how I'm going to do this one, guys. Um, huh. We'll make it work. I got a plan. I got a plan. All right. First, let's make sure we're done there. That looks good. So... I have some bad vinyl at the end here, but I think I have enough to squeeze out a cabral. So, I gotta cut this as close as I can to the edge. This is gonna be a tight fit. I'm gonna have to cut where the actual tape is here too. I'm gonna have to get rid of this tape and hope it doesn't mark up the vinyl too much. They don't have the same letters. The one that I doubled up. You guys have, I'm sure you guys have run into this before. If you haven't, you will, don't worry, don't worry. You guys will be doing this one night, figuring out how you can make it work. So I think by expanding, I think with my expand, I'll be able to get it wide enough because we're only about two inches. So we should be fine. I think we're actually going to be fine. Okay, so let's give it a go. Got my material here. Let's get it loaded. Got a scrap piece. I could turn off my sensor if I want, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I think that'll be kind of a little bit of overkill. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. I'm going to hit one for front edge. I think that's at least two inches. Scroll down, stay it on, scroll back. I'm good. Now I need to type out Cabral. That's the one that I missed. Oh, I've already converted everything to curves too, of course. All right, hold on a second. My magnet's falling off. Man, I'm falling apart here. I'm falling apart, my magnet's breaking. I'm out of vinyl, I'm cutting it wrong. Is it just me or do I not see a whole long piece? Yes, 
this whole long piece is already cut. It's already cut, so that I can't use that. That's what I'm about to weed in just a second. Rizzo doubles Bryant on third. What? Oh, shit, I gotta watch this. I need a phone, I need a phone. Damn it. Hold on, I think I, I, think I got my extra phone. Damn, I don't have the at bat downloaded on this phone. All right, hold on a sec, hold on. <laughs> we, we know what's important. <laughs> Shit, let's go. All right, I'm gonna type out Cabral here. Wow, this is open, hold on. You guys are gonna have to bear with me a second. I need to see it live. <laughs> I may wake up the house at the... No, I already have a membership. Already purchased. Restore. Let's go. Subscriber? Maybe? Boom. There we go. Oh, nobody out second and third? What? All right, hold on. Get some time so we can go back to work. I'll let you guys watch it with me. Shoot, 0 oh 2. That's not good. All right, I gotta get Cabral typed out here. I haven't forgot about you guys. By the way, how did Bryant not score on Rizzo's double? Why convert the font to curves? I always convert it to curves. I don't know, it's just a thing that I always do. Honestly, there's not necessarily a reason for it. I know, but a double, he should be scoring from first. Oh, foul ball, Ooh, let's go Contreras. All right, so I need to go about nine point, how wide are we on the others? 9.9 .9 inches wide. I'm about 1.8 inches tall. All right, let's cut this. Yeah, I'll let you guys watch with me. cut good to go I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees so we can cut it down that side right there what did you miss Christy you missed you're missing the Cubs about to come back and win this game that's what you're missing nope yeah baby all right I gotta cut this hopefully we're good Good there, good there, launch, cut plot, CM4. Let's send it to the cutter. Check my force again, I got my force at 10. Name is spelt right. Yeah, we're good, we're good. Woo. We're good. I thought I was supposed to do it vertical. Let's go. Nope. Hang in there, baby. Cuts looking good. Cuts looking good. I like it. I like it. Uh oh. We've run into this before, right? Ah, 
falling down, falling down. We're falling apart, falling down. My little piece came off the back. Hold on. Ball. Three, two, let's go. Continue job or quit job. I'm screwed either way. I have to continue job. Let's hope this doesn't pop out. Got it. Just because that worked, guaranteed Cub win right here. Had that fallen out, Cubs were going to lose. 3 2 count. Let's go. Hopefully none of it's in the bad part of the vinyl, which it doesn't look like it is. I'm giving you guys a view of the Cubby game as well. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. Shit. Shoot. Damn it. That was ball four, by the way. One out. Damn it. Damn it. All right, Hayward, let's go. Oh, they just watched Hayward to load the bases to set up a double play. We can't have that. I like Almora here, though. He's going to get the job done. And he's pretty quick. No double play. Hopefully. I put my computer over. So we now have all the names we need. We got all 11 of them. I just need to app tape this real quick. Here we go. Come on. Damn it. Foul ball. Not a good swing there. I know I didn't put tape on last name. I am now. I'm getting I'm getting distracted. All right, John, you have a good night, buddy. Let's get down here so you guys can see. App tape. Shoot, little number. Save, save. <gasps> Save, save, save. Woo! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Yeah, baby. Still only one out. Love it. My husband's pissed. Challenging it. Hopefully, we're good. 
Should be a quick one. Should be a quick one. Baseball with Matt, yes. Oh, I'm designing for Father Day shirt. Sweet. I call him safe. Yeah, baby. Just to let you guys know, it's a little bit more difficult to weed vertical checks. Uh oh, Baya is coming in to pinch hit. I like it. Let's go, Javi. Let's go, Javi. Javi's just gonna go walk off bomb. Watch this, baby. Doesn't it make it easy to work when you can watch stuff like the Cubs game? Here we go. Here we go. Ball game, baby. Cubs win. Cubs win. Cubs win. Woo! All right, I'm good. Back to work. That was exciting, wasn't it? I'm going to get you all to be. I know I'm. The kids are up. They have to be. If Jackson's up, he, he knows when I yell at night, it either means the Cubs lost or the Cubs win. So I basically yell every night because they either lose or win. We lost a tough one last night, so this was a good one. Cubs beat the Phillies 3-2. I like it. All right. Let's get this half tape going here. I'm a Mets fan. He's a Phillies fan. <laughs> Not a happy hubby right now, huh? He was happy last night when we blew it, so. Um, Joe, what's up? What's your question? Sorry, the only question I would have seen in the last 10 minutes was a Cubs question. But fire away, Joe. I'm looking out. I'm back. I'm laser focused now. Very happy. When using the wizard and it color separates, do you then group same colors or weld them or what when you want to cut? Um, you just highlight the area that you want to cut. So when it does all your color separations, Joe, just highlight, like if you have your green vinyl loaded in, highlight the weed box and the, but make sure you highlight them all. Don't just click on the weed box because that'll only cut the box. So highlight that entire area you want to cut in your green vinyl and so on based on whatever color you're or whatever part you have selected. Does that make sense? Does that answer what you're asking? What's up, Chuck? What's up, Chuck? Oh, what I think about the Cardinals. Leslie, are you serious? Would you really ask a Cubs fan what I think about the Cardinals? 
My goodness, no. The Cardinals are miserable. They're, they, they shouldn't even be a baseball team. <laughs> twins? I've always been a little bit of a Twins fan because one of my good friends played with the Twins for a long time. So I've always I've gotten to know, well, I knew a lot of the players on the Twins. So I always rooted for them. And then I also, um, I'm a little bit of a Rockies fan. I'm a little bit of a Rockies fan as well because, again, I know um, uh, Ian Desmond with the Rockies. He lives right across the street over here. So, and my wife knows his wife and stuff and the kids. So, I'm still a fan of... No matter what team they play on, I'm still a fan of good players. <laughs> That's funny, Cardinals. So, I still like, like, I'm not a Red Sox fan at all, but I've always been a Pedroia fan. I'm not a Yankee fan at all, but I've always been a Jeter fan. So, if you're a baseball fan, if you're a baseball fan, you have to be a Jeter fan. You have to be, I mean, even Yankee fans are Pedroia fans, and Red Sox fans are Jeter fans. They won't tell you that, but they are. What's up, Kristen? How are you? How many championships do the Cubs have? How many do the Cardinals have? How about this century? Brian, here's the thing, Brian. When I think of championships, I only think, my brain only thinks the last, let's say, five years. And that's where we go. Let's maybe even go the last 10 years. And that's the way my brain thinks. You know? So when you think of it that way, when you think of it that way, actually, actually the Cubs are pretty dang good. I mean, if you go 10 years, if you go 10 years, then when when's the last time the Cardinals won it? Um, 2011? I know it, it was somewhat recent, 2011, I think. And then they won it, um, 2005, 2006, somewhere in that range. But we're just going to last five years. <laughs> Baseball is like pizza. You only remember the most recent ones. Well, I was pretty, Brian, you're surprised. I was pretty close with that, wasn't I? I said 2005, 2011, 2006, 2011. Well, either way, it wasn't 2016, was it? And you guys aren't counting the Cubs World Series title this year either. So that's not really fair. So we got to count our 2019 World Series. I'm making some last name decals with my new squeegee. <laughs> Your kids are older than five years. <laughs> no, if the Cubs had won a World Series nine years ago, then I would remember 10 years back. So I might be a little biased as far as what I remember. So if they don't win one again for another 100 years, then my, my memory will only go back to 2016. Best rhinestones to start with, Tina, without a doubt. Obviously crystal as far as color, but you want the SS10 Korean low lead hot fix stones. just 
trim in the name too. I'm still a fan of the horizontal names versus the vertical, but they asked if they could get them vertical for the baseballs or the, for the bats. You can see the vertical names here, and that's all done in the wizard. Two, three, four, five. Does everybody know how to do vertical letters in the wizard? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we have our horizontal names here. So we're good to go. New squeegee, baby. The, the other great thing that Cubs and Cardinals have in common is they have great fans with great followings. The amazing part about being a Cubs fan as well is no matter where you go, even if it's a different stadium, there's normally more Cubs fans than the home team. It's insane, right? But Cardinals have a huge following as well. And the Brewers are even starting to get a little following now that they can win a couple games, right, Jim? Working a silhouette machine and trying to cut 32-inch window decals are a good way to do that. I'm looking for someone who can cut the decal locally, but would really like to try our own equipment. So, Jose... Jose, do you have the wizard? If you have the wizard, you can use the split feature, which allows you, what you would do is you would cut, let's say a 12 inch, 12 inch, 12 inch, and then you could layer them together. They would have a slight overlap with the split feature. So it would look like all one decal. So that's, I mean, and if, I did a, a huge decal with our 24 inch cutter, similar type thing. Um, Brian had a work question above. Let me, let me try and scroll and find it, Brian. Okay, serious question now. What is the blade depth for sign vinyl? Have you readjusted since cutting the brick? Okay, yes, Brian, I did. And <clears throat> that's the only one that I readjust with, okay? So, the only time I will ever take that blade out of that cutter to readjust a little bit is if I'm cutting brick with the 45 degree blade. And I'll give it a quarter turn to have the blade out just a little bit more. But then everything else that I cut from sign vinyl to easy weed to glitter to holographic to whatever it is, I never touch that. I do everything through my force in Cutting Master. So that's just me. and. I like not touching the blade. I don't like people adjusting it, especially in the warehouse with 25, 30 other employees and they're doing stuff. They know we don't adjust the blade, okay? We do everything off of force. All right, what else we got? We can finish up here. I did see a question. So to find the free, um, here, let me just show you where the free everybody saw the free design all the youtube members so the free design the free design for this week is the wine makers or wine drinkers make grape lovers but here's the deal okay i forget who asked me earlier today i don't shoot who was it but here's what i did okay because and i'm not going to do this again Okay, I'm not gonna do this again. But the first two week, the first two weeks of free download files. Okay, the first two weeks. Some of you have emailed and said you had issues finding the files and by the time you found them and where to get the coupon code and order them on the website, it had been the week already and they expired. So I, I'm doing this once and once only, okay? So, I went back and week one and week two's download files are also, those coupon codes are reactivated, okay? Through this week, through this week. So any of you that may have just signed up to the YouTube membership today, yesterday, last week, whatever it is, you can go in there 
and get week one and week two's free files. All right, I hooked you guys up, but I'm telling you right now, the only reason I'm doing it is because people were having issues finding it, but I'm not gonna do that again. So any of you that just recently signed up for the membership, you can go back and get week one and week two files, even if you just signed up this week, okay? All right, what else we got? We can finish up here. Good to go, good to go. Great night tonight. How do you sign up on YouTube, on the Rhinestone World YouTube channel? It's a lot easier if you go on your desktop or your laptop. But just go to the Rhinestone World YouTube channel and you'll see the join button. And all you do is you just click that join button and I'll show you it. Give me a second. So you'll see the join button right there. I am doing a webinar. It is going to be on Thursday and I'm not sure the exact topic yet. I have a couple different ones listed for the next few weeks. So I'm not sure which one. I'm, I'm either doing a full production one where I talk about the pricing and everything or a wizard one. And I'm trying to decide time-wise what I'm gonna be able to do, whether it's just a software wizard one or whether it's a full production one. What do you guys like better? Do you like the full production ones better where I talk about how I sell the design and all of that? Or do you like the ones where it's just the software and I'm talking about how I created the design? I'm gonna give Sign Vinyl one more shot on my graph tech. No, Brian, you better not. I will come hunt you down if you go from a graph tech of cutting sign vinyl back to a cricket. I will hunt you down and call you a Cardinal fan. You should never, ever be cutting anything on your cricket with a graph tech. All right, crew, we're good to go. Rock and roll. Cubs win, Cubs win. That's what I'm talking about. You guys all have an amazing night. I appreciate you guys coming by. 70 of you here, 67 likes. I love that. Jose, shoot us an email if you run into any issues with it, but thanks for helping as well, Eddie, on that. But I know that was, an, that was supposed to be, I was making you feel bad to be a Cardinals fan. <laughs> Brian, just dim down the pressure a lot. Just to give you an idea, I cut my sign vinyl at a 10 of force and I cut glitter at an 18. I cut um, easy lead at about a 12 and I cut magic flock at about a 21. Proud Cardinals fan. Hey, I was a proud Cubs fan for a long time when they were really, really bad, so. All right, crew, you guys all have an amazing night.